Hey everybody, so what I'm providing here right now is a sneak peek at how to set up uh, a training plan within Perf Pro Studio. Uh, this is a new feature that hasn't been released yet uh, as of, let's see here, August 7th of 2012. Uh, so the, the idea behind this training plan is it's not an all-inclusive one for, let's say, running and swimming and, and uh, some of the other things that you may be doing, let's say, if you're a triathlete. This is just a training plan for uh, Perf Pro Studio so that you can get your bike workouts set up in a schedule. And let's say you have a coach that wants to do it, he can set up the schedule for you and you can import the, the training plan and then uh, rather than trying to find a workout, you just go to your calendar and uh, pick your workout for today and, and get to work. So how you get into it is the same as how you get into your workouts in your course databases. It's what it is now is an added tab and here let's just resize it slightly and so you can see here we have the workouts courses and performances and now we have the training plans and you can see I've got a few uh, um, workouts set up in here and color code wise these are courses uh, the, the, the blue here and perhaps there's a um, like that's a course that's a course and then here um, these are all courses but you can also add past performances but the thing that you'll probably use it the most be using the most are just workouts and that's where that's what these are and the colors here represent the intensity of the workout so you can see here the intensity matches uh, the, the intensity flag here matches what's up in here so that just kind of gives you an idea of what you got uh, what you got to do for the day so um, in here, what I can do is I can quickly add a, uh, a workout to a particular day by uh, double clicking on the day and it'll just take you into the workout and then you just find the workout that you need, double click on it and go back and now you've got it. And then you can see this one's a slightly different color because the intensity is slightly less. It's a moderate intensity, but the stress is high. Um, so here you have now a couple days set up. Now also you can see you've got different views, like this is the month view. And if you want, because we're in this particular week, if you go to the week, you'll see this is the week view. And uh, really this is sort of modeled after uh, the Outlook calendar, uh, if you ever use Microsoft Outlook. I, I particularly like that calendar and I like how it looks, so I somewhat model it after that. And so when I added that workout within my week view, you can see it went to 6 a.m. as a default. Um, if times are really important for you, you can always move them here and say, okay, I, I always have like a nine o'clock start time. And one of the uh, things that hasn't been added in, in this pre-release yet is, is just the, I, the option to add start times as a default so that whenever you double click within your month, it always goes to let's say 9 a.m. But you added this workout here, and also um, you have the capability of moving it around. So like where I moved it around on a date or a time, you can also say, well, I need, it, I really need this workout on Saturday. I, I meant to put that Saturday, or you know what, I really I just decided that's a better workout for Saturday. So you can do that. And you can see it sort of the, the time of the workout matches um, the, the height of this particular entry within the calendar. You can see, yeah, it's roughly, you know, hour and a half, two hours. So, um, and then here you can also see a quick little profile of it. And then if you're in here, if you always want to come in here, you can just, when you're, um, when it's time to actually do the work, you just double click on the workout and the workout loads up and you get going. Okay. So let's just go back in here real quick. We'll look at this. And then uh, other views is you got a two-week view. You can take a look at that. You can see what you've got this week and what you've got coming up this week, if that's the, if that's the view you like. Um, if you're in this particular day, you can actually look at just the day view, and you can always go to today, and it's going to show Tuesday for the 8th, 7th. All right, so um, that's, that's a quick look, and I particularly like the, the month view. The week view is very good, too. So if you always default into the week view, that's how you'll come back to it after you reload Perf Pro Studio each day. Um, so you can come in here and say, yeah, it's today is, today's Tuesday. I've got this dump loop workout course ride, and I just double-click on it and go. There's really no uh, messing around. Um, if, you've, if you've set this up ahead of time, then it's less thing, less, something less to think about that morning or afternoon when you go to work out. Or if you've got a coach set up, it's just no, then it's a no-brainer. Your your coach has set this up for you. This is what you do. Uh, the thing about 
um, the, the coach-athlete relationship with these plans is that they can set this up. They would need Perfpo Studio loaded on their machine. Uh, and then what they can do is set this up and then export the training plan. And you can go in here and, um, and, and give it any kind of name you want. And it has this PPSTP. It's Perf Pro Studio Training Plan. That's, the, that's basically the acronym for this file type. And when you go to save it, um, it's going to ask me if I want to replace it. Yes, because I have one out there already. And it's going to create that file for you. But within that file, um, the calendar entries are in there as well as the workouts. So if you've got workouts, courses, past performances, all that gets archived into that file. And that's what can get then sent off to the other athlete. And then what they would do then is come in and import this. And if they pick that, it would just load it up. Chances are you may already have the workouts. And so uh, the importing of those workouts are ignored. Otherwise, new workouts that are in that plan get imported into your database and that way you can use them. So you can, then you can use them within the calendar or you can just use them on their own within the workouts tab. Uh, so that way everything is, is always going to be there. Whether you already have the workouts or not, it'll always be there. So a coach can set these work, can create workouts in here, add them to calendar entry at the end, export, and then send that file off to their athlete. They can then import and they've got a calendar set up. So, Pretty easy. I think perhaps later on, like um, like the workout libraries, I'll I'll create an option so that you can share workout or uh, training plans. Um, but that can get a little carried away when when everybody's uh, has access to do it. So um, so there's going to be some work and there's going to be some things in the works to actually uh, get that set up so that you can share plans. Uh, perhaps you'll just be mailing them to me and I'll decide whether or not it's a plan worth sharing. Um, but that's the that's the deal right now. I think you guys will enjoy this. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. It's it's one of the final few things uh, gaps that are that are, that's in Perf Pro Studio, and um, I, I think uh, once it's out there, you guys will will thoroughly enjoy it. All right, that's all for now, and uh, have a good one.